Good morning, my friends, and welcome to day seven of the Water Fast prep. I know I skipped yesterday, but uh, that was on purpose. There wasn't much more news to share about what was going on. I felt the same, and I and uh, everything was going great. So I just wanted to um, jump on today as the last day of my Water Fast prep and let you know what's going on. Uh, I did weigh myself today to just see where I was on the last day of prep, but the official weigh-in will be tomorrow morning. Um, the weigh, weigh-in this morning was... Uh, 349, which means I'm down nine pounds in this week of prep. Um, and I'm sure I will come off, a lot more will come off uh, in the next week or so. Uh, I feel great. I feel wonderful. Yesterday, um, having my one meal um, was interesting. I, I forgot to eat, and I ended up eating about six o'clock last night. Um, I ate less than I normally eat because I just wasn't feeling like I wanted a big meal. Um, and it was my one meal of the day and I felt great all night and it wasn't, wasn't tired, wasn't, wasn't, uh, hungry. And I, I felt fine all day. Uh, my joint pain gone, my skin it, as usual, whenever I go on very strict carnivore, my skin feels softer and, and more healthy. It just feels, um, less rough. It's so smooth. Um, which is which is wonderful. Um, tomorrow is the big day. Tomorrow I start the water fast. Tomorrow is day one of the forty, and I am um, really excited about it. I think it's going to be very cool to do a uh, you know this year, and um, I think it's I, you know my experience in the past with fasting has been a positive one, and I expect this to be a positive one as well. Someone asked me the other day uh, whether, whether I was taking enzymes or not. Uh, I am not taking Amazon. Your body naturally makes enzymes anyway. And um, when I've fasted before, I've never had any of the symptoms of a deficiency. Uh, the symptoms of a deficiency are usually uh, weakness, exhaustion, uh, muscle cramping, um, things of that nature. And then, you know, if I have any of those symptoms, then I will probably take some little, little bit of sodium or potassium or magnesium. But... Um, I've never needed to in the past, and I probably won't now. I am very specific on the fact that I am only drinking very pure water, very distilled water, um, which is great. Um, tastes good, feels good, um, clears up my body. So um, that is the the last day of the prep video, and I hope that that uh, that uh, anybody else who's who's trying to follow along. Um, is being, you know, watching their own body and their own symptoms and doing what they, they have to do. If, uh, um, as, a, as I've said in the past, I, I'm not a doctor, I'm not a, not a, a dietitian, I'm, not a, I'm, I'm just a guy who, do, who fasts occasionally. So do not take anything I say as, as a, something for you to do with your own medical experience. But I will say this, if you are going into this, you know, and giving it a shot, you know, 40 days is a long time for the, a first fast if it's your first time. Cut yourself some slack. If, it, if it's really a bad experience, end your fast early. You know, and because um, if you have a really bad experience with it, you'll never do it again. And you might go like a week and go, well, I just can't do this anymore psychologically. And then go, okay, I'm, I'm breaking the fast. That's okay. You give yourself permission to follow your body and follow your instincts. Your instincts are the, are the wisdom. Not mine, not anybody else's, your own. Follow your instincts. Um, if you're inspired and you're, and you're going along and it's going great, hang in, keep doing it. But you, fo- you, are, you, are, you are in charge of your own health and your own experience. So uh, follow your instincts. So other than that, I think that's all I'm going to say for today. Uh, tomorrow morning will be the weigh-in, and the videos will change from water fast prep to uh, 40-day water fast. Um, and uh, I'm excited, so it'll be good. So you guys have a great day, and I'll talk to you soon. See ya. Bye.